Swayam Prabha Digital India Educated India Let us start this lecture with a thought process. Belief of being a divine person is the ignition switch for realizing your potential lying dormant in your mind. So, coming back to that, like uh, what I was telling, that in the last lecture we derived very simple way the root mean square velocity of the molecule, right? Uh, considering the kinetic theory of gases. And now, uh, in that case, we did not really consider the how the distribution of particle will be, we will be doing today. But before taking up that, I want to, uh, you know, continue from the last that we had derived a relationship between uh, for the V R M S, right. If you recall that V R M S is equal to 3 R U T divided by molecular weight root over, right? Yes or no? Right? So, uh, now if you look at, we will take an example just to have a feel what will be the velocity. I had asked this question in the last lecture, right? What will be the order of velocity? Let us consider a simple uh, molecule, right? For nitrogen gas, right? And uh, for the for that I need to find out right. Let us consider the 300 Kelvin, like at 300 Kelvin, what will be VRMS? Right, this will be 3 into RU. RU is your universal gas constant, so I can use 8134 into temperature 300 divided by molecular weight for the nitrogen is 28. Okay. So, if we use your calculator and find out that values will be 511.32 meter per second. If you look at the molecule, nitrogen molecule is moving at a very high velocity, right? even higher than the speed of sound, is not it? Such a high velocity it is moving. And of course, this is a very simple fight theory. Of course, if you take consider little different, then it may be lower, but that will be that order. It won't change. Order of magnitude won't change. Okay, it won't be 50 meter per second. Now, if I increase this temperature to something, let's say 1200 Kelvin, what will be VRMS? What it will be? just multiplied by two, right? And that will come 1022.64 meter per second. Because everything is same, you are just uh, you know increasing temperature by four times. So square root of four is two. Therefore, it will be two. That's all. Now, if you look at the temperature is higher, the velocity is becoming much higher. The, that is the reason why you know at high temperature some reactions may occur. At low temperature, reaction will be very very uh, reaction will occur, but very very minimal because the collision won't be there. The, it won't be moving at a high velocity, right. So, now till now what we have done, we have to consider the particles, of course, number of particles per unit volume like number densities and other things. But in this case, what we have assumed the velocity will be isotropic, you know, like kind of things we have assumed, right. And it will be that uh, all particle will be moving with the same velocity, yes or no? But is it possible? It is not possible, right. So, why it is not possible? For example, let us say only nitrogen gas is there, container. But is it possible each particle will be moving with the same velocity? No, no. Even in the same direction? No. Why? Because when there is a series of molecules, collision is taking place, right, in a, even in proper orientation, that lead to a higher velocity. Let us say there is a head on collision. What will happen? Head on means two molecules are coming and colliding. 
head to head right we do na head on collision in our interaction with the people then there will be a quarrel that might be some problem you know like hata hati ho jata right exchange of word will into go get into the physical right <laughs> so head on collision head on collision means both will be coming to the stand still there might be a zero velocity right or maybe a small velocity so therefore there will be wide range of velocities each molecule will be having even though it is at low temperature it is at with the same molecule let's say for nitrogen right that means molecular speed are not same right okay or i can write down speeds of molecules okay speeds of molecules are not same even for same kind of species or molecules right let's say nitrogen at same temperature pressure and same volume everything same however there will be a distribution right hence there will be distribution of velocity of molecules right and if you look at statistical way right one can see keep in but however keep in that that molecular speed at equilibrium is distribution is steady right distribution won't vary if distribution will vary then there will be problem okay isn't it that means the molecular speed at equilibrium right distribution of molecular speed at equilibrium will be same however distribution of molecular speeds are same at equilibrium of course we are considering equilibrium case and other things so and this distribution is basically given by the maxwell right and that is known as uh, i will be not getting into detail but i'll just mentioning that the maxwell speed distribution that will be this is f right v v is the velocity 4 pi molecular weight 2 pi r u t e molecular weight v square divided by 2 r u t is equal to v square keep in mind that this v is the molecular speed now when you plot that thing right so that will be basically number density right that will be dn by n this is change in the molecules right uh, what you call number density uh, by the number density that means volume volume cancel it out right will be equal to what is that f v into dv and this is what is this dn dn is the number of molecules having velocity between v and v and v plus dv this basically the dv in between the what is that like in between right so now if you plot this thing it will be number of molecules called vertical this thing like and molecular speed this will be meter per second right you can say and you will see that this is having vp what is this vp vp is the most probable velocity vp is the most probable 
velocity and from this you can uh, really calculate Vp will be equal to 2 Rut by Mw and this is V is basically average velocity right. V dash will be 8 Rut pi Mw and V RMS already we have de derived this root mean square velocity is equal to 3 Rut by Mw. Keep in mind that Ru is your universal gas constant and T of course the temperature and uh, Mw is the molecular weight right. Let us say this uh, thing relative number of nitrogen molecules we are considering at 3 different temperature. That means, if I will consider that 300 Kelvin right of one temperature you will find the velocity is here in this range if you look at is something in this range it will be something maybe 400 uh, 50 kind of temperature is coming at that you know it is having higher higher what number density right. But at the lower uh, temperature it will be low and then at the temperature uh, you know uh, uh, sorry uh, the velocity of the uh, molecules will be lower at the uh, you know less number of molecules sorry less number of molecules will be occurring in this uh, lower temperature and also uh, lower velocity range right lower velocity range and if you go to a higher velocity range the number of particles will be very low right you let us say this temperature the number of particle will be very very low right are you getting. But as it is temperature increases if you look at the number uh, density for a particular temperature it became you know higher here right again velocity will be higher let us say something 600 meter per second. And as the temperature increases right what happened the probable velocity is also increasing right peak velocity that is. And this will this range if you look at it will be more number of particles are coming and that is true also if you consider other way around that we have seen uh, that uh, V is basically whether it is a average velocity or probable velocity or the RMS velocity is uh, proportional to 1 over the molecular rate half. Now, this corresponding what I was discussing earlier it is T half power 2 right. The molecular weight means is basically mass. So, oxygen the molecular rate is what you call higher right. So, the you will get the molecular speed is very low and number density here it is higher where number number of particles more number of particle will be having lower velocity. Of course, there will be certain uh, uh, high range uh, or the certain molecules will be having higher molecular speed, but those are numbers are very less. Similarly, nitrogen and then water and helium, helium is a very lighter gas therefore, his uh, particles you know probable or the more number of particle will be having higher velocity right. Now, let us uh, look at what is happening in the collision theory because this we have talked about kinetic theory of gases. Now, if you recall what happens really uh, during the chemical reactions is very simple I have emphasized several times that is there will be formation of new bonds and breaking of old bonds right. Of course, you know it does happen right in our interaction is not it we may keep in memory but something will be there. So, and if it is happening question is why does it happen because there will be collision there will be interaction between the molecules right molecules will be colliding with each other in a random motion right and even if they are colliding each other like is it like uh, there will be some reaction taking place will it be taking place need not to be there is a uh, you know the certain molecules will be have certain higher energy right such that it can lead to a 
breaking of bonds during collision and it should be properly collided it should be collided properly you know orientation at proper orientation it should be collided right so that means you know you will have to uh, look at condition of the dissociation of bonds that as i told the colliding molecule must possess higher energy than the mean energy right for example you know i am talking it will be having some effect in your mind right provided you know a person is having little higher energy level so similar way there will be not that all interaction will lead to the reaction or all collision need to be reaction there will be depend on what is the energy level you are having right leaders are those who are having higher energy level higher better ideas and other things right similar manner so that is uh, what you call like you know if you look at reactants it will be uh, there but here it need not to be but there will be some higher uh, you know uh, what you call energy level that we call it as a activation energy right and this is of course uh, uh, will be getting to a higher energy level and then reaction will be occurring then after that energy level will come back to the getting to the product and keep in mind that this is the activated complex we'll be discussing little bit about activated complex little later on and whenever this collision is taking place then we need to look at the, what is the probability of a molecule possessing certain amount of threshold of energy that we call it basically activation energy right and this uh, probability is proportional to exponential e r u t and this e is your activation energy if you look at this kind of term we saw in the what you call well speed distribution maxwell speed distribution right and also multiplied by the s s is your steric factor that will tell you whether it is proper oriented or, or it is collided at a proper orientation or not with proper orientation or not right so just to summarize what are the condition of chemical reaction to occur if you look at the suitable molecule must collide with each other right suitable molecule should collide each other right and molecules must collide with proper orientation and that will be uh, basically uh, quantified by a steric factor and colliding molecule must possess energy greater than the threshold energy and e we call it as a activation energy this e is basically known as e is the activation energy of course this is about uh, what you call collision theory what we are going to do is basically look at how we can relate this thing to the reaction rate right that is the basic idea <coughs> okay so having uh, said this thing let's say there is a reaction bimolecular reaction we are considering let us consider A is reacting with B going to C plus D. And if you look at I want to find out basically what is that? D C A by D T. Right. So if you look at from the collision point of view, what I'll have to look at? I'll have to find out is equal to right, of course, this will be minus because it is destroyed, right? It's consumed. So therefore, it will be minus. I can say this is number of collisions taking place, right? Per unit volume per unit time. That means, okay, and then then. I'll have to 
say that then what is the probability of successful collision during reaction or for a reaction to take place that is probability of successful collisions for a reaction to happen right into the what you call number of moles of a species right a you can say kilo mole of species a right by the number of molecules number of a molecules make sense right but if you look at this first term what is that this is basically collision frequency per per what per volume see if i say this is z uh, let's say a right or a by uh, this will be volume if i say all the a molecules are taking place of course it won't occur right but let's consider that or i can consider b right a b a between b colliding right per this is basically collision frequency frequency mean number of collision per unit time right into v v is the volume into probability what is that we have already seen that is e by r u t into steric factor s is the steric factor into what is this term this is nothing but your a n a n is your avogadro number make sense hmm? now i will have to find out this collision frequency because this i can take from the what you call uh, maxwell distribution right and this i can take now we will have to determine the collision frequency I think we will stop over here right we will be discussing about the collision frequency by considering in a simple collision event right and later on we will uh, look at basically how we will relate to this and the reaction thank you very much.